Go figure, as soon as I finish editing my video, another rumor drops, and this one I'm super jazzed up about. The Jets are expected to interview offensive coordinator of the Buffalo Bills, Brian Dable. Yeah! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, make sure to tune in Monday, January 11th for our live stream of the Ohio State Alabama National Championship game. It starts at 8 o'clock. I am so excited about it. I'm hoping Justin Fields could light it up again. And we're so excited. It's me, O'Leary Greenbean. We are going to be discussing all our Jets related questions, the head coaching topics, and just watching the game and having a lot of fun. So make sure you tune into that. But let's talk about our topic of the day. The Jets are expected to interview offensive coordinator of the Buffalo Bills, Brian Dable. And I'm super excited about this. This is a guy that I have been very high on all season long. He has turned Josh Allen from a very raw, inaccurate quarterback coming out of college to a legitimate MVP caliber candidate right now. And he is just playing out of his mind. Now, Dayball was with the Jets back in 2007 or 8 or so. He was the quarterback coach under Eric Mangini, so there's a little bit of organization familiarity there. I I I love this. This the offense has been incredible. The guy has won five national championships with or five Super Bowls with um, Bill Belichick and one national championship with Nick Saban down in Alabama. So he's got a nice little pedigree there. He's actually been to all of the uh, AFC East division teams. Now. I would love this, especially if he could bring in offensive coordinator or quarterback coach right now. I would hope he would bring in, to be our offensive coordinator, uh, Ken Dorsey. I really like Ken Dorsey a lot. He was the quarterback coach uh, for Josh Allen the last three years. He's also the quarterback coach who Cam Newton had in Carolina. That's where he won his MVP back in 2015 or whenever that was. He, oddly enough, was the assistant athletic director at FIU, the school where we drafted James Morgan, our backup quarterback from, and they actually overlapped for a year. So maybe a little familiar face, you know, sort of helps this whole thing out. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm really excited about Brian Dable. I hope we bring him in. This would be really exciting for me because I love the idea of taking away a a positive from a division rival because you face him two times a year. And if you bring him in and he's successful, he knows the weaknesses and the flaws of Josh Allen, how that offense is run. And I think you'd be able to benefit from that because I think the Bills are going to be the top of our division for a while now. And it would it would definitely benefit us to have a little bit of inside knowledge there while also taking away, you know, two potential pacifiers from, from Josh Allen. So I would really like that. He uses a lot of crossing routes and motion, which just help out young quarterbacks phenomenally well. And I get really excited because if he can draft a Justin Fields or a Zach Wilson who has a big arm and is, you know, very mobile... Oh man, this could get really, really, really exciting. Now, the concern here for me, I think, is going to be that the uh, LA Chargers just fired their head coach in Anthony Lynn, and that team is looking really good. They have a legitimate franchise quarterback in Justin Herbert. They have a a filthy defense uh, with Bosa and Ingram over there. I don't know if they'll retain Ingram, but just a filthy defense nonetheless. Not to mention, (laughs) Brian. I just figured this out, Brian Dable and the Chargers GM went to high school together. So maybe there's that connection there and he wants to go work out that way. So that's that's the biggest threat for me because I think that job is really attractive looking. Now, Brian Dable is also from Rochester. So he's from the New York area. So maybe he doesn't want to be that far away from friends and family. That's the opposite end of the country. It's interesting. There's a lot of moving pieces here and a lot of things could go sideways and a lot of things could go could go well for our Jets, but I'm excited. Joe Douglas is going to find us the right guy. I have 100% faith in that. Guys, let me know what you think of Brian Dayball down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets. J-E-T-S!